<clears throat> family, on a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever on a day. And on a welcome to the program Inside Salon, na the Den and our Media Empire, where we broadcast live on Facebook. Me, na on a host and presenter, Mohamed Kamara, popularly known as Supermed. And today, na Saturday, the 21st of August, 2021. Inside the program today, we get the APC Deputy Chairman, the APC Deputy Chairman, Honorable Al Haji Minkailu Mansare. So, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Sierra Leoneans, now the interview is where plenty, plenty of people them they wait for. So, at the Arjuna, now we begin share them immediately. Very important. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll not begin share them immediately so that we'll get plenty, plenty of people in. Go we'll get that opportunity for you to read this interview live. So the audio now, oh, now begin share the program one thing, one thing. Very important. Very, very important, ladies and gentlemen. Today, the quarter on inside the program today, we we'll get the deputy chairman of the APC party, Honorable Al Haji Minkailu Mansuri. And we got for can talk about plenty, plenty things, them, plenty questions them where we are not forward to we we now allow put in front of the deputy chairman of the APC party. Then question they don't have can give directly from the man himself. Men not tell you, may somebody not tell you. You self self can you I'm from the Aussie's mouth, as the saying king goes. So, ladies and gentlemen, we now begin share the program ASAP. Now the number, now the, now the usual ritual that now this platform. We now not forget to the Dell and now media empire. Now the hub of the conversation about who beloved country Sierra Leone. We know what we learn to we'll keep the conversation going. It is very important for we as Sierra Leoneans them. Now we'll make sure say the conversation continues. As I they say, we guess they can join me anytime soon. So please, please, we now we share the program. Now we share immediately. Very, very important. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we get the APC Deputy Chairman, Honorable Halaji Minkailu Mansare, on the platform today. And plenty of now, we see the flyer, we now look forward to this interview. The interview don't kind of so the action, now we begin to share, now we hit that share button. So that plenty, plenty of una go can able witness this particular interview. The interview with the deputy chairman of the APC party, Honorable Halaji Minkailu Mansare, who we get na the platform today. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, fellow Sierra Leoneans, I want to make, will I will share this particular program? Let me share, I'm there plenty, plenty Sierra Leoneans then go able join we. As I say, the deputy chairman herself of the APC party will get up on the platform today. And most of them be done, they look forward to this particular interview. So do you have allow we continue for share? Una we continue for share the program, please, please. I know say most of them. Most of them be done, they ask who is this program, they come on the program is here. The deputy chairman of the APC party, Honorable Alaji Minkailu Mansare, they would treat us at the talk right now. They would treat us. So, I'm going to share the program. Now, can you get directly from the deputy chairman himself, Honorable Alaji Minkailu Mansare? Ladies and gentlemen, as soon as now we are this particular platform, the Den and Now Media Empire, now we are the hub of the conversation. We believe, say, that we write and responsibility as progressive and patriotic Sierra Leoneans them, for now we keep the conversation going. And no, no other stakeholders will not get bigger than the deputy chairman of the main opposition party, Sersef Nayati Dewe, now Honorable Alhaji Minkailu Mansare, Sersef Dewe Utu Nayati Dewe. And I believe so we pull the flyer, like what they say no more, most of them be the ask for this particular interview as well. The interview don't come, please don't allow share. So some people will be don't forget, so don't go remind them. Many go can get directly from the from Honorable Alajimin Kalumansari himself. 
Um, Honorable Alaji Minkanu Masai, welcome to the Dead and Our Media Empire, sir. Thank you very much. Happy that you got me on. Thank you, sir. I want to say I do to Fambule. Many Fambule no say yes. We didn't have the platform. Live would be all the way from Freetown, Sierra Leone, sir. Uh, good evening, good afternoon. Wherever you are, good evening, good afternoon. I'm glad you for the to now on this video. Thank you very much and welcome. And we in this platform here, so we're very privileged. We'll tell you thank you for it. Take time off your busy schedule as the deputy leader of the main opposition party for Lego can We tell Lego talk to plenty, plenty people in the diaspora because this particular platform is the hub of the diaspora. Although they get plenty of people in the salon can join we. But okay, so all the time in the from the Americas, from Asia, from Middle East, from Europe, everybody, they join on this platform here so. And we'll tell you all thank you. Now don't join me already. Wanna please um, share the message so that other people will able to join we. We probably don't forget about the time. Um, Honorable Alaji Minkailu Mansai, I know we go directly to the interview, sir. Um, Honorable Minkailu Mansai, sir, what's in the thank state you. of the APC party at the moment? What's going to in the state of the APC party at the moment? The APC party, the All People's Congress party, we na in the only mass party in Sierra Leone. We na in the only party we care for the welfare of the people of Sierra Leone. We na in the only party we so constructive for. Take the people here from the lower level or the lowest level of poverty, we will lift them up. The only party we get the solution to the economic, social, and educational health issues. NASA. He said that we're coming together. We are concerned. Also, we get problems with life. Like, we get problems with life. I don't together. know. We're going to stay out and for take over. That's where we are now. We're putting all our energies, all with capacity at this moment. We'll make sure, see. We got a problem with Milan. Okay, hold on, see what it happen. Thank you, sir. I think so. They get problem with your line. Probably maybe not for pull your phone. Or because they give, they give problem with the line, sir. Anyway, you fine. Yes. Hello, or maybe not the, not the internet connection, because they show us so the internet connection, they use small, small problems, sir. Okay. 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 But what they talk so they hear me? Yeah, they you, you know. They you know. They talk so? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Much better. Much better. They hear you Very know. Very clear now? Yes, sir. Much better, sir. Um, so many Sierra Leoneans, Honorable Mikalu. Without, without their phone. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. Much better. Much better, I think. Yes, no, it's, it's much better like this. Okay. Okay, then. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. Let's, let's move on. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Um, Honorable Elijah you Minkanu Mansari. You're welcome. As a key stakeholder in the previous the question, you want to repeat the question? Yes, sir. No, I, I ask you that question now, sir. We will go back to the analogies now. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, sir. I say, as a key stakeholder, now the previous mm -hmm. administration of former president, Dr. Anes Baikoma, mm -hmm. in government, where Sierra Leone, the Migratum, uh -huh. as one of the fastest growing economy in the world, and also as one of the most peaceful countries mm -hmm. in Africa. Mm -hmm. But lately, we don't see who people they suffer dire economic situation in Sierra Leone, where, where people mm -hmm. can describe as the bread and butter issue that the country is in Tanga. People are suffering. Mm -hmm. And also, we there are plenty, plenty of concern with the common of the country. What if you say I don't go wrong? Because just a few years back, we were one of the fastest growing economy. A few years back, now one of the most peaceful country. What did not go wrong right now with all these problems they arise? So indeed, you're right. During our reign, as a government of the APC, then we reign as one of the fastest growing economies in the world. And of course, they rate we as a very peaceful nation. But when we lost power, we begin to see a downward trend in all spheres of human activity in the country. When we lost power, 
people that set aside all the good work, all the plans, all the policies where we've been done laid down as a foundation for lift this country up, then set them aside. The manpower resources where we get, people that where we don't train over the years for handle certain aspects of the economic, social, and health and educational sector, then lay them from work summarily. They're not, they're not, they're not query them, they're not do nothing. The cost then come as a government, they lay all the specialized people they need. And when you lay off a lot of specialists, when are they in demand the affairs of the nation? When are they in demand the economy? Then they look at the social strata, education, health, you name it. We make the country, the rate are so high. You take them off, you bring amateurs, people that were not properly trained, people that were they can't test. What do they expect? That that they be with me now, Naya. They not got no policy direction. Now we stand in the fact that one of the mottos they be new direction, but for us, there is no policy direction. Let me tell you, when we took over the reins of this government, we focused on the human capital and the social economic and political activities of the country. We developed an agenda for change and that agenda for change because we will meet the country. We first say before we re-engineer re the one old country that we make and what it should be. Sierra Leone, then we read we as a country where in everything, they say we are first, we will are first, we will are first. So when we come, we be one for rekindle that, that aspect of the, the, the acceptance we we'll get to the world. What did we do? In fact, the capital city, Freetown, was the, that was rated as the darkest city in Africa. We vowed say, we go work on we promises. Within 100 days, we bring light to the capital city. We not stop there. We look say, for, 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 for let me get what we want, we for really look at the engine, we go facilitate economic growth, economic and social growth quickly. We look at it from one aspect, that the private sector has a role to play in the development of any nation. Therefore, since most of we come from the private sector, we engage the Saloon Chamber of Commerce, trade, industry, and agriculture. We not stop there. We make road tours and road shows abroad. We meet the diaspora. We try for discuss with them for let we get them for come on. And indeed, we partner with them. You find out say, the, the private sector is stimulate economic growth. And then when they partner with we, then come with various activities we make the economy kickstart in the area of mining, energy, uh, the tourism, and you name it, all of that, all come together as a partner, especially for let we achieve the agenda for change. And just miss him of the agenda for change, Ebola struck. But we fought like giants, like lions. We fought that Ebola. Then we try our recovery program. We roll out the agenda for change and we bring in the agenda for prosperity. And in that, we set up Sleeper, Sierra Leone Investment Export Promotion Agency. We use them for, for assist and facilitate the intervention of the private sector, both from outside Sierra Leone and internally. So you find out, see, the private sector then coming in, then try for generate revenue, then create employment, massive employment for youth them, then train people them, and above all, then contribute to the economic growth by revenue generation, and again, by complying with their corporate social responsibility. So you find out, say, the economy, they move, the social aspect of the country, they move, the health sector, they move. And don't forget, when we were in governance, we got the free healthcare program where we bring income more. We got free healthcare for lactating mothers, for, breast, for, for, for pregnant women, and for children under five. We created all that one day, and we got the cost recovery program. But when they come, they say all them program they did, not a program they wouldn't for you. They dump everything. That's where that, that in make we're not able to come up, or they're not able for match up to which will be done. But most importantly, when you don't train people over the years, they have become specialized in their various fields of engagement. When you come, you set them all aside, you bring freshers. What do you expect? Now that they happen with Isodam. It's unfortunate. 
that uh, a lot of people they, uh, they undergo poverty. And the one they will be they try for a big up, then don't go down, 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 down. So in brief, now that will be engaging. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Honorable Alaji Minkailu Mansare, Fambulem, today we'll get the deputy chairman of the APC Patina, the platform. Honorable Alaji Minkailu Mansare. We also get we young resident human rights activist, Madam Fatima Conte. Madam Fatima Conte now somebody way don't stand tall for all Sierra Leoneans in Sierra Leone and in the diaspora. So we're very, very grateful for also mm -hmm. getting them on the platform. Madam Fatima Conte, I say I do to family. Hello, I want to only do that salon and uh, um, everywhere in the world. I want to tell you I do and thank you and I want for sympathize with you with what happen, but more could hold on, you know, to God and no say, you know, we would stand up for what for the for our rights and what we believe in. Thank you very much, Uncle Minkelo, for coming in. Okay, thank you very much, Madam, Madam Fatima Conte. And um, like we are saying, now you're a resident human rights activist with it. It's not all for all Sierra Leoneans, all walks of life, wherever you did, whatever difficulty you face, she's always there to advocate for Sierra Leoneans wherever they are. Family, like we are saying, we continue for share the program. Today, we get the deputy chairman of himself of the APC party, the main opposition party in Sierra Leone, Honorable Alaji Minkailu Mansare. And um, before I, I, I revert to uh, with human rights activist um, um, Honorable, I want to ask in relation to what we hear recently from the bank governor of Sierra Leone, where we bring that denomination for pull three zero them. We see since where that announcement did not happen, we don't see the Leon stone continue for fall. Because according to the latest report they get, the dollar way on get dollar be just over one million you know, nearly one one um, one million two hundred leons just in over a week or so. Where don't make that announcement. Eh? What do you think say happen? What do you what do you think say the bank governor be the get out? Because people are confused. People don't understand what they try for get out or what is the plan behind them. What are your assessment, sir? My assessment is that one, in not timely. Two, they approach are wrongly, and then three, in not in the best interest of the country at the present moment. When you want to uh, denominate your currency, certain factors then they wait for bring to play. One, what is the job creation we don't do? Instead, now massive jobless people that we get. Two, look at the GDP. What is our GDP at the moment? Is it convenient for us using the level we have for let go into that aspect of it? No, I will categorically say no, you know, you know, right for do that. Thirdly, you got to look at your economy. We, we know they export nothing. How you go develop your balance of trade and payments before you determine or you decide for denominate your currency. So when them factors there, yeah, among others, no exist, then you go, you say it denominate one, you just scare away for, uh, potential investors, then go fear and say, hmm. That country, they will go they will plunge the money when I forex. By the time we go and get money for do investment, no problem. So the one the way they operate now in the market, then fear say their money go devalue for whatever reasons that the government know. But their money go devalue and they go loss by the value because of them digits they need. Three, with them, then decide, say, okay, well, let's wait and see. And therefore, the circle itself, not economically favorable and friendly. So you find out, see, now the forex, then they shoot up as against the, uh, uh, our national currency. This is the situation. We not assess the GDP. We are not exporting even diamonds out of the country. And balance of trade and payment, in, in fact, to me, and I would describe it as being weak, I would say woefully, it is non-existent. Because that when the factors, then they, among others, they exist. Then you go sit down back, you look at yourself inwardly and looking at the country as a whole and decide. And I don't believe so when they take certain decisions, then they involve, consult, or collaborate with certain sectors. Then the away one do one, you get certain important uh, 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 sectors that the economy way for bring to bear into decision making when you come to this. You got the, the specialist and the bankers association and they, they as I say, even the Sahelian Chamber of Commerce, 
when they deal with the trade, commerce, industry, agriculture. You get different, different industries that we do now, Naya. Mining sector, now a big sector in the economy, where they contribute tremendously to the GDP of this country. You know, consult with them. If in real time, if we want to take a major and critical decision of that nature, honestly, would they create the forum? Would they interact? Would they chat together? Then we share experiences. Then we all take informed decision. And when we do that, we will succeed. I make could be they succeed. But with them, a unilateral decision based on the people that we then will bring. As I say, uh, they, they have not looked inward and therefore we have difficulties. So we're not surprised. Indeed, as you say, the dollar in rate, they go up now, dollar related to the dollar, if they go up and then they affect the ordinary man. Now, wait till they buy 10 cents. Yesterday, today, it don't cost 30, 50 cents. Wait till they buy 100 loans. Today, it they go to 200 and 250 loans. So these are the signs of bad governance, where you know they consult, you know they collaborate, you know they partner, or they take informed decision on major issues affecting the livelihood of your people, and by extension, the economic circle of the country. Well, thank you very much, um, Honorable Alaji Minkailu Masaye, for that excellent response. I believe, say, plenty, plenty, Sialunians, and people already watch this program now, and we get for subsequently watch this program later. We really appreciate that holistic approach where you don't lay out so in relation to the economic situation. And this dire economic situation that we can't see, it really, people they suffer. People they suffer because the hyperinflation, like what you say no more, see what possible by 5,000 today. Even now they're going to say cement for bag will be there about just over 70,000. Now it's over 100,000. It's over 100,000. It's over 100,000, 110,000. Yes. And as now. Perhaps tomorrow it will go more than that. And this is really, really sad and, and really unfortunate for we Sierra Leoneans, ordinary Sierra Leoneans, them up and down the country where, you know, we need them basic uh, commodities here so for we survive at one. Um, thank you once again, um, Honorable Elaji Mikhail Mansari. You're welcome. Let me pleasure. Let me pleasure. Yes. Thank you. I want to give that to we, we human rights activists so on the platform today. Um, Madam Fatima Conte. Madam Fatima Conte, Sierra Leone is worried about human rights abuses in our country. And you as a human rights activist, a case in point, we know say rights now, even the leader of a, a former opposition part, uh, party, where, now the Alliance Democratic Party, Mr. Mohamed Kamari Maman Sare, don't they in a prison for over a year now. We will get reports say in no well. And the offense when they all for day, they send a available offense. And we also know say with man and say justice delay is justice denied. And the main opposition party, the likes of uh, uh, um, uh, Albert, Albert Williams, the likes of Dagami, the likes of uh, um, the, the mama began the last one at Kamokaba, and other so many of them, quite and others, they all don't see them be put in a cell language or mandate for a month, to mandate for so long, then pull out the charges so no go no side. We don't see where even the massacre in Palemba Road, where the people and the prisoners are the most vulnerable people them within society. Now the government is responsible for look after them. What do you take, Madam Fatima Conte? You have to unmute yourself for giving your assertion with all this gross human rights abuse when it takes place in our country. And what is your advice to government and to the people of Sierra Leone? Thank you, Super Mayor, you know, um, for that. Well, as a human rights and as a mom, as a people's person, I tried to reach out. I don't reach out, you know, to them, you know, the high ranking people. I tell them and I said, you know, forget, don't forget, you took a vow to God. You know, when you took that oath, you said, I will deal with the people and respect them and protect their properties. And you're not doing that. And I said, so whatever you do, we'll come back to you. And the people, we're not going to sit there, as, especially me. I'm not going to sit back and relax and say, OK, you know, no, this government, no. No, 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 no. I'm not. If I do that, that means I afraid of them. They're not afraid of God will make me. So that's why we speak and we have this platform. We're going to use this platform to sensitize our people and tell them no. Where there is wrong, we tell them no, this is wrong. Where there is right, we said yes. But we're not going to sit down and, you know, um, take all this human rights um, um, 
abuses that is going on. And I want to tell me people and say, when I, we saw you for way too long to go to go. But on the other hand, again, I want to get them back, say, they ask for change. And, you know, it's in the scripture where God, where we people that ask, say, they want for change. And Israel asks, you know, Egypt asks, say, they want change. They want uh, a governor. They want somebody with a governor. God gave them that person. The person begin to do wickedness. Then self cry. When I get for cry out to God and say, we don't want this person. And the way we want to do them again, it will take back to the ballot boxes and say, we need change. Now when I ask for change, and now God is sure when I say, okay, when I want change, this is how change goes. So we have to respect each other and do what is right on the ballot boxes. And make somebody not can tell when I say, okay, this way election time come, everybody begin to give our money. No, that is no, no, no. We live in the awareness world right now. This is the 21st century. We were not going to stand for that. And nobody's going to stop us. We can't go back home. We That's our home. Now that we're born. If we don't go first, we die. Mark world until I don't begin. So that's what we say. We're not going to take no advantage. We're going to stand up for our rights. Thank you very much, Super Mayor. OK, thank you very much, Madam Fatima Conte, for that passionate response. And we, we really cherish forget you always on this platform. And again, that same question here, yeah, I want to revert back to um, uh, Honorable Elijah Minkanu Mansari, sir. The issue about human rights abuse in the country, it really don't worry most Sierra Leoneans then, all about in the world. Because they see it in the world, oh, we call it, now, pasmak, pasmak advantage. People only they catch no more because of their political persuasion than they did in the world. People, them, even the last time, even Chris, man, we see whether they beat Chris, man, and so on and so forth. Even members of parliament, honorable member of parliament, we swear they go lock on a Panemba road. It takes 10 30 before they able bail them. Waiting the APC, what are the major, the main opposition party? Waiting on a take on this particular issue and what do they do for try for address this issue, for try for call the authorities them, and also we international partners them for bring their attention to this particular um, issue. Now we can't hear about human rights abuse. And we're before saying a serious issue where they affect plenty, plenty Sierra Leoneans in today. Sierra Leone, they go through a very sad moment in its history. Sad moment and the fact that um, the activities and behavior or conduct of the present government, not they in line with the rule of law, not they in line with the, 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 the constitution, with national constitution of this country. When are they grown norm, where they regulate the affairs of the country. Then people here, they don't respect the entire in their operations or in their governance uh, 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 way of doing things. As I say, we, are, we observe the rule of law and all other instruments where they address the welfare or affairs of the nation, you know, go see things like this. When we talk, the way they said in bail recently, now, Honorable Karanke from Lonsar, he was incarcerated for quite a long period and not be the feel well. You don't talk about Kamarimba, which is quite true. But let me just go slightly to the human rights as, uh, issues there again. You know, you get civil and political rights and rights to life, security of persons, protection from deprivation of poverty, freedom of expression and the press freedom of assembly and association. We get women's rights, we get children's rights, we consider the vulnerable, the disabled, the physically challenged, the blind, you name them. All of these guys and others, will they in line with international instruments, international conventions, which are known as signatory to, but woefully and sadly, this government no respect their conventions than they, they no respect their instruments than they. I mean, I mean, the constitution, it make them very clear. Another instrument that make them very clear. You know, for detain somebody without good cause for uh, offenses where you presume or allege for more than 72 hours. But when it comes to economic crime, I mean, none they say something go there up to 10 days. But oh yeah, this economic crime move, normal cases they move, they don't go by the rule of law, they don't respect the constitution, and therefore. All the other aspects that I have listed, when you, are, you become a victim of them, they do no more for suffer. As a party, 
each of the people that way it affect and each of their occurrences will not keep quiet. Will they call press conferences? Will they make press releases? Will they make representation to the international community? And in some cases, we had the privilege or opportunity of meeting government officials and talk with them. You look at them, it's, it, it's, it, I mean, we, 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 it's so sad that the instrument way for ensure the rule of law, they are not doing that in the right way. The justice system is not too friendly or they are not working in line for ensure say, then tear they happen. We talk about parliament. Brutally, they were removed from parliament, but that was not done they did not do. The matter went to court. People are where the electorate them vote for. When are the people they vote? Where if you say this post here, it get, it get issues with the voting, you go say, you pull them, then they will get a by election. No by election. They say, well, when you don't come out, you can go, except if you can go inside. The Electoral Act, they can very, very clear. You get time for petition or objection during the nomination. And if you that pass, after election, you get four months. Then four months, then they, they elapse. They not do nothing to them people. Then. then go brutally remove them from parliament and they install for want of better work. They install forcefully their own people. Then. They call them members of parliament. This is the Sierra Leone we are today. This is the country. And these are the people that are governing us in Sierra Leone. So you find out, say, the human right itself. We get agencies, we get commissions where they address the human right is where for address human violations or human rights issues in this country. But again, we get a look at the bigger picture. The bigger picture, how much uh, 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 cooperation then they get from the government. The government, they, they, they look their, their human rights violations here. Yeah. as anything important to them? No, in my 91, a student was shot at the back. The police say, is here, this man they go and say they host the bomb. He run go there, take bike they go. They were shot and killed. Nothing, not Of course, you don't, you know, I don't name all the other one there. But this is the country we are, but in the, 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 the force of law, as I say, in the fullness of time, then we face the force of law, either in Salyon or internationally. But as a party, as I say, we have not been silent at all. We have been making press releases. We have been calling press conferences. We don't meet with the international community. On many occasions, we highlight the issues there. But um, I mean, I can safely say all that we have been saying or doing, they fall on deaf ears. And not only one alone. In fact, we did do them in partnership with other political parties like the NGC. That was why we formed the consortium of political parties. We're sensitive to the cause of the people. We're sensitive to the livelihood of the people. We 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 want to see the people and come up from this doldrum. We want to see the people and come up and this punishment. We want to see the people and come up by this poverty. But above all, we want good governance, democratic governance in Salud. We don't work with them collectively and constructively, but then we approach the issues here. That is the consortium of political parties that are alive to their responsibility and keeping in line with the manifestos, but above all, for make sure say, Sierra Leone restitute in glory, Sierra Leone regain in pristine position like other good nations in the world. Okay, thank you very much, Honorable Laji Minkainu Mansari for that excellent response again. And family today, as I tell you now, get the chair, the deputy chairman of the APC party, when our honorable Alaji Minkailu Mansare, we also get to resident human rights activist, when our Madam Fatima Conte. And the issues them all they talk about say now plenty, plenty issues them. Issues them all we always they discuss about now this particular platform. Because what you do now, we own rights and responsibility for make sure say whatever government they in governance, we for all them accountable. Now, part of the democratic process for law, we do that. And the main opposition party, now one of the key cogs of the democratic process. Democracy now they work on you no more. You get plenty, plenty like where well, what's in honorable Mikalu with the talk just now is also the rule of law. Now all part of the tenants of democracy. So plenty, plenty in them. And we Sierraonians them, we never just set up sit on sit on more fall and fall foot oh, because election business, government business, they get consequence. If we saw that they involved, 
Any to accommodate, now we go for face is suffering. Because today, today, that man, we're going to make it. Any to go outside on there. <laughs> when we say no one mix by government business, government business, they mix by you. Because that's when I make it for Indiana because of government business. You pick him on a school, bench only for Sidon, now government business. So we all got to make sure so we join the conversation. We see what they go on with. I like the issue they are so. And we all authorities are accountable. So family, we're going to be continue for. She had the platform, plenty, plenty of flag on Jerry, um, Brother Junior Kago, Mohamed Alaji Conte, um, Amadou Agun Pape, Daniel Denke, um, Asan Jalo, so many other people, Mr. Devin Thomas, and so many others. We return all thank you for another journey on this platform. And the conversation, like what you say, always continuing at the Delano Media Empire, the place when I the hope for the conversation. Um, before I go, go back to human rights activists, I want to ask you about. The COI, the way when they set them up, the conclusion and the subsequent white paper we don't come out. What now you take about all this old process? Because plenty of people then say the setup of the COI itself was illegitimate because you're not going to set up a court where equivalent to the High Court of Sierra Leone, then there's no rules of evidence where they go apply. So what are you in general taking particular the whole process say to in conclusion? Thank you very much. In respect of the commissions of inquiry, from the word go, we lawyers, there is a series of objections based on the fact that they don't make provision for rules of evidence. And uh, we lawyers, they don't stop this. They create, they, they, they submit authorities. Now, each of the three commissions for substantiate the presentation and deposition for say the, uh, the inquiry by the setting of that inquiry in all legal. I mean, up, down, up, down, they say nothing is going on with the inquiry. That's not the premise. That, I can tell you for free, we, the APC is so lucky, they have a battery of very good, experienced, qualified, and renowned lawyers. They go, they represent you effectively and efficiently. But since, as we don't know, say no rule of law, no day, and they, 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 they say no rules of evidence, no good day, but all waiting and don't talk, they went on. They did what they have done. At the moment, a lot of appeals, they then are the appellate courts, or let them look into the decisions or the recommendations or the outcome of the, the, the judges, the sole judges, the resident and the three commissions of inquiry. Well, in so, I mean, you, you, you would want to describe this as a rich hunt because you get for relate what in a go state with the Auditor General's report. But all of that did not come to bear. You go see them go bring him from nowhere and can plant them into something will not be they exist. These are all the issues that we would talk. So the, 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 in governance and in a democratic setting like ours, we get three arms of governance. With the government, we get the judiciary, we get the parliament, we get the executive. When the citadel of justice is rotted, or in not day in line with what we call good governance or democratic governance, what do you expect? I then can see where they go also. I then for expect, and for us as a responsible political party, as people we know how to govern. And people will respect the rule of law. And people will want peace in this country. Who believes in that only when peace thrive, nine development go day. And people that will not want undue suffering and the killing of our people, we opt to go through the process of the law by appealing against the decisions, against the judgment, against the recommendations uh, uh, of, of the commissions. Most of them are very adverse. And to me, they not get bearing or linkage to most of the things that where they raise up for which they say you are found guilty. But since the matter they before the appeal court, I not go go into detail. Let yeah, we not find ourselves in a situation where they will say you, you don't commit some kind of a corruption because when a matter is before the judge and then they do detail, otherwise they sub judicate. And are we are a mindful of the consequences of, uh, I mean, I mean, being um, in, in contempt of a court matter 
Therefore, I don't go in depth into that. I will just raise them up as I have said. But the matters then they are the appeal courts. Though some of them have not been assigned yet, some of them don't assign them. And we hope, say, by October, the appeal courts then will resume, then we'll look into them. The outcome for some of us is predictable. We know there is no rule of law. We know the judiciary is not up to its task in dispensing justice. And we know that uh, they don't handpick a lot of us for say, you will go down, you will be this, you will be that. So our expectation is we will go through the corridors of the law, we will make sure, say, we go by the principles and practice of good governance, that when you are faced with a situation like this, instead of we all tick, we all this, we begin run a treat, create a panic and anarchy that the country we go to, through the right process by appealing. We are waiting for the outcome of our appeals. That's where we are at the moment. Okay, thank you very much once more, Honorable Elijah Minkailu Mansare, ladies and gentlemen. We get the deputy chairman of the APC party here on the platform, and we also get resident human rights activist. And I want to tell um, Honorable Elijah Minkailu, thank you, because it only take in time and it explain to we here so clearly in short a way, we the understand them in detail. And at this we would expect of somebody of young caliber, and he has absolutely nailed all the points in. And we're very, very grateful for getting on the platform. But I want to go right now to a human rights activist on the platform, and Madam Fatima Conte. Madam Fatima Conte, the dire economic situation in Salon, the hyperinflation that we continue, now also a human rights issue. Sierra Leoneans and they like today, even for put pot na fire, a whole family, na problem. If picking sick, na problem. Then get picking away, don't go to school, we don't go to university, college. They don't graduate, they don't come work no day. What are you take in terms of this as a human rights activist, in terms of this economic situation that we continue? Super mate, thank you. But this is really baffling. Really. Um, a hard to get them, you know, um, topic because um, we were there, people didn't call all the time, you know, for, for you know, subsidize to them for giving stuff. And um, it's every day. And um, the government, like I said, you know, they took an oath to God that they will take care of the, the people and they are not doing it. But you know, um, um, you have to, they don't have peace, they don't get peace right now because if you're not connected to you, um, people, like you don't go get peace. And then how would you feel, you know, you feed in your own family and leave other people to suffer, you know? And when are the young money, you know, take them 30 traders and are the taxpayers, you know, the money, not the young money. So it's really heart rending, you know, for me. And we were there outside because, you know, the IMF, all the money when they send back there or loans, it's about taxpayer money. So they can't tell us to keep quiet because that's, you know, where your money is, that's where your mouth is. And we mm -hmm. tell the government, please take care of your citizens and stop all this lavish and stop. You go out, you know, to Lebanon, you take your family. Who said those other people don't want to take vacation and take their family out or take them out for dinner or have a good meal? They want to do that too, but you know, you're not giving them that opportunity and it's not nice. Take care of your family. These people are your family. The grassroots are your family. They put you there. Remember that. Remember. They put you there and whatever, Kama said, whatever you put out there will come back to you. And the economic system is not good because you keep on, you're wasteful. This is really, really bad. Traveling all over the place, leaving your people. In fact, you should take care of your people. You know, go out in the community, talk to them, listen to them. Listen, hear their cry, but you're not doing anything like that. Instead, you chop in their money and you expect them and then you to bulldoze them and keep their mouth shut. No, it's not going to happen. Mr. President, I'm telling you right now, we will see at the ballot box because this is too much. And we, you know, we who lives here, you live in the outside world. You don't live here before. You know how we struggle. They live paycheck by paycheck. And uh, just by the grace of God, we will support with people in Yanda. If we don't mean dinner, yeah. I will support with people. And when this pandemic don't come, 
you know, some of some people lose their jobs and some don't have jobs, you know, to go, you know, um, two days, three days. So it's only by the grace of God. So think, Mr. President, think, think, please think and help your people. That's where you're there. You're not there, you know, to go, okay, you can go on vacation, but do all this lavish stuff. And I hear this, I'm going to say, from one of your good person there that works with to you and told me you always every day since you came there you always asking for handouts for money for money money your wife is going all over the place asking those Lebanese guys for money it's not right do for doing what you feeding your own kids you're taking them all over the place stop this nonsense and do your work you're there for the people do right with the people please Mr. President thank you very much Super Mayor Okay, then thank you very much, Madam Fatima Conte, for that your um, assessment. And on our particular trend day again, we'll go back to um, the deputy chairman of the APC party, Honorable Alajim Kailu Mansare. Um, on that thread of this corruption, we know say this particular administration, the SLPP government, when in kind governance, then say the main one of the main policies now for fed corruption. But we don't see the 2018, 2019 audit report where plenty, plenty billion they don't disappear. We also don't see According to the revelation, we don't come out from the African Express. We don't uh, let's say plenty, plenty money, um, wasteful spending money, they disappear, fit in fatal one. So, what now your assessments are in relation to this particular fight against corruption? Now, a genuine and sincere fight, or what now you take your overall assessment to farm, sir? I don't tell you, say, where there is no rule of law. And in a country where democracy is not a drive, they experience selective justice. And at that, with the experience in Sierra Leone. Like you rightly say, the African Express don't unveil a lot of issues bordering on corruption. And they even challenge the government. And you don't talk about the audited report, where than the 2018 audited report, where instead a subject of discourse and in fact a topical around and within our uh, uh, people in the country. But as, 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 as I said just now in brief, where there is no justice or where there is selective justice, you go see, say, they go say, okay, this is good for this, but it's not good for this. And the one where they say, hey, good for, the untouchable. The one where they say, you know, good for, you go find out, say, now nah, go suffer. But I make one statement. I say, all that is happening now, um, we carefully they note them. And the whole world, they follow up Sarah Liu. In the fullness of time, all the issues that will come to bear and the appropriate measures and action will be taken for, uh, for, 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 for look into certain issues like the killings, the this, the that, and all the other things and like this corruption we didn't talk about. When the moment is ripe for it, necessary and appropriate actions will be taken. Okay, thank you once more, uh, Honorable Elijah Minkainu Mansari. And I'm going straight to another topic where plenty, plenty people already support democracy. We believe in democracy for we country Sierra Leone, be worried about. Where the government come up with that suggestion, say they want to make sure pull um, political party per local council elections business. They also be try for make this uh, midterm census where election they approach 2022, 2023. What's not the latest situation? What's not the latest state of them proposal? And they will say they now. And what's even not the opposition they don't do about them? And what's what they still do about them, sir? I will start by the latter one where you say. Uh, a couple of days ago, a couple of days ago, uh, the, the, the consortium, as they say, the political parties that are sensitive to the uh, uh, state of the, the condition of the people of Saloon, to the state of this country, we're concerned about the welfare of these people, or about, we're concerned about the welfare of the people of Saloon. Get the, 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 the honor for meet the development partners, and particularly the, for address the EU's recommendation, the observer recommendation, where they can observe elections and others. And then Colnec was there, or let them put them their plans and programs for coming elections. That that uh, conference went for three days, and certain major decisions were taken after 
the, after a lengthy debate on certain issues and recommendations were made in the form of you call them communique or whatever. Those decisions that were reached, we expect say, the government for take them in good faith, if at all they want to govern this country in the way we go look like say, we have been governed democratically. Then for take their recommendations then. They, but just uh, about two days ago, we national secretary general informed we see, I think neck don't need on waiting we decide, waiting all the political parties then decide and including some civil society organizations in the country where express dismay and dissatisfaction, where they contribute meaningfully and constructively in that conference. Now we understand say, next say no, then we'll go by waiting a one day. Coming to, to, to the one for say, uh, councillors, then we we'll contest elections, uh, uh, chairman, sorry, chairman and mayors will contest election. They're not going to contest her under any political party. Interesting, very interesting. In the in the in the local council act, you get you get independent. You go card against say that the person not contest her, not a decision, not in choice. You want to contest under a political party, or you go independent. If you're independent of in the perhaps you forget one leg, do it to the feeble leg. Even for me, a feeble leg in uh, as far as we see them. Somebody before say, all right, independent body. So the uh, we are, provision is made for let somebody stand as independent. Why you go say pa opa enough for the under a political party? And again, as we talk, that the rights, the human rights of people now and then try for travel. So again, you get a right to association, that freedom they forget. Her. You get a right. Of assembly, you get right for join a political party. If you then say enough for to have under a political party, then why political parties then they exist? Why then they exist? So you can see. But in that aspect, we don't we don't move robustly, and we believe, we strongly believe, say in the interest of the people of Sierra Leone and for let this government show some semblance of good governance. And they advise that they drop that that issue. Then. Because I mean, I mean, let me face reality, man. You take Minkai Luman say, you say like not in happy election under EPC. Who that then are the one who will win on say Minkai Luman say in the EPC? I don't need for very head for letting them say in the EPC. Wherever I decide for in happy election, all the EPC people will come behind me. So it makes the whole issue rubbish for letting you say they're not for Tinap under a political party. But as I say, I hope and pray that the government will rethink, let them not go forward with that kind of plan. Day. And uh, of course, the midterm censors and other things, that also was thoroughly discussed. In no proper, in no proper, and there is no precedent where they will draw reference to, we will make the, them thinking proper. And that again, uh, the civil society and others don't advise. And they only again advise and pray that the government will rethink if they get for venture into the issues there we are of serious concern, grave concern to the state of this uh, people and to the country where we all belong, where we all love rather, where we all want for let be like any other country where they enjoy democratic governance. Okay, thank you very much, Honorable Alaji Minkailu Masai, the Deputy Chairman of the APC Party, when are the main opposition party, now we come to the Sierra Leone. And now we almost pivot now because we don't, we don't keep you quite a long time and um, we really appreciate you and we're very grateful that the Dead and Now Media Empire for where you take it, you visit off your busy schedule for January today and talk to people in the diaspora mainly and also people in back home in Sierra Leone. But once I want, well, I want to focus on now, turn to the APC party where you're the deputy chairman. Um, APC party supporters and members and sympathizers then, they're really frustrated and worried. Because they see what they're going so they take and say the APC, now the main opposition party, now it will be a government in waiting. But they see court case after court case, infighting after infighting, and most of them they put the blame fairly and squarely. Now, now the key stakeholders are in foot. What's now your text? What's now your assessment about a particular issue of the APC party going forward? Because people are looking 
not all APC people no more, even Sierra Leoneans in general, when they go through so much difficulty right now, they look up to APC for able to redeem them, for alleviate or redeem their country. And then they see all these problems within the APC. So they're very worried and frustrated. What do you think, sir? Um, we are people, them. we are grassroots supporters. The entire membership of the APC, they like to be worried. Because the APC, they go through difficult times. And our internal challenges and difficulties we have. But as I say, we don't, we, 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 I mean, we don't come back to where we are. We don't look at ourselves inwardly because the bone of contention it be rest on constitution, constitution, constitution of the party. We amongst us, some say we for look at ourselves. The world itself is dynamic and the changes are abound in a, in a dynamic situation. When they say, let me look at the constitution, let me review the constitution, or bring them in line, or make them let it be a more democratic constitution, the leadership accepted. Immediately, we set up a nine-man committee or look into the constitution. They came out with their report. We discussed or debated on those recommendations with them. And at the end of the day, we all agree say, yes, this is a constitution where we were put to test. And in the first place, after all the amendments where people don't bring up all the issues with Tony, where they inside it, when we carry on going to the national advisory, committee meeting, we approved the recommendations uh, and the amendments made the year to, to the recommendations on that draft constitution. What will be left for we, now for let we take them into an emergency delegate conference for let they go adopt them. Because when you get a new constitution, the political party, the only role, after you don't do all what you do, you they go adopt them. When you don't adopt them, you send them to the PPRC, when are the supervisory authority for looking to run, then they go lay them for 21 days. If there are further objections to that document, then we'll bring them come and they will call the, uh, the authorities then concerned, they look on those objections. And at the end of the day, when PPRC don't know with that, it will gazette them, then it becomes the, 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 the legal uh, constitution of that political party. And are they with they now? Because our people out there, as you say, we are a government in waiting, and we are the best alternative for take over the reins of governance that this country. Our people are crying out there. They know they cry, say, let me Kailu be this. They know they cry, say, let me be this. They know they cry, say, let me not be this. Then they say, hey, Papa God. Then they pray, then they kneel down, then they bow their head, then they ask the answer, Papa God, let APC win. Papa go let APC come to power. We don't listen to their voices. We don't listen to their cry. And now we are coming together. As I speak, we just don't finish today with the first leg of uh, getting the, 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 the delegates elected at constituency level. Because the, 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 the convention that we are going to hold now a court ordered convention because the matter been done going to court, and the, the honorable judge been done giving orders. And this is the first part of your orders. After we don't submit the constitution, we don't publish them, we don't send to PPRC, we don't make them publish on our well-read newspapers. Now, as at today, we don't do the Western Area East District, and we don't do the Western Area West District, in line with the orders with the court giving for carry out, in line with the mandate as provided for in the court orders. We don't run. By Sunday, we'll be leaving Freetown for going to the provinces. We for cover 132 constituencies for elect, not to select. We are electing the delegates where they go to that convention for go adopt the constitution. That's where we are. I think say so. we are getting closest to, to what you really pray for. Unity, peace, oneness, common understanding in the best interest or let the APC come back to power 2023. Thank you very much, Honorable Elijah Minkalu Masai, on that fine note and that good address. I believe say most APC supporters, members and Sierra Leoneans in general would be reassured by that confidence they we don't give them. 
But Honorable Elijah Minkadu, I want to clarify something quickly before I revert to uh, Madam Fatima Conte. Now about uh, uh, talk where they go on the social media from so many parties um, in relation to waiting for Apple Panel Convention. Some people then say that convention they now for go no more and adopt constitution. Some people then say no. Some uh, uh, arguments we don't they say therefore deal with um, standing issues in relation to membership. What are you take, sir? What are you understanding according to what the judge says, sir, in relation to that convention that will happen next month? Okay, it's good that you ask me, I may take every understanding. That aspect of the ruling, a topical. That aspect of the ruling, it don't generate lots of conversation in both the print and the electronic uh, 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 media. And even amongst ourselves and beyond ourselves, internationally and back home, that issue don't become an issue of grave concern. When we see the ruling, we not see them. We consulted our lawyers and we say we are not too clear about this ruling because the matter for where we go to this convention. Now we say settle with law agency, do ya go na court, file a motion, ask for let them bury the, the orders the way this judge will not be, such that we go get the opportunity for let we go adopt the constitution. That's all. Now that will be another application that we've been filing. And later, the judge accepted our application. He granted us those orders. But at the end of it, he talked about which you can't talk so, but uh, uh, membership issues. Confused as we were, we call we lawyers. We say, well, Una, now, now, now we lawyers, now legally minded. We are not too comfortable with this. In the first place, this is not to be the matter where we can. We're not there before the judge. Not to we can before the judge. We were to ask for, and for let them very low who carry out the adoption of the constitution. And we lawyers do the needful as lawyers representing us. And we get implicit trust and confidence on them pieces of advice where then they give you because they are proven to be committed, loyal, and they are they, they, their commitment is unalloyed as far as we concern. concerned. They above board, not we know they pay them and they sacrifice everything. They don't lose plenty clients and they get running costs for the offices and other salaries, but the commitment to the APC is on parallel. So therefore, because we don't know them and then they serve you well, when we ask them and say, okay, we will go into this. After some time, they came back to us, then say, then don't go through the document, then don't look at the ruling, and from other consultations, they advise us that the, the, the issue relating to resolving membership issues, it, it contemplate, it contemplate on the issues that will be related to issues like the NRM and other interest parties. We've been don't be we're not members of the party, but then we say the membership threaten. Then we say the membership they under some kind of a pressure with them for set them aside. Seeing at that, the 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 the, the judge in ruling they come they contemplate. And when they don't advise you that way, we are happy. So we're going to that place to adopt the draft constitution. The other issues that when they talk about uh, uh, unresolved membership issues that they don't try for resolve. As I speak, the composition of the membership where they, where they carry out this exercise for ensuring the convention is held in accordance with the others, like the Peter Conte group, the judge say, for take four from in group. The NRM, they say for take two from the group. Even the big six, the judge ordered that we for take two from the group. And we for form this uh, committee of 21, for handle the affairs for plan, both technical and otherwise, there's a technical and planning committee for this convention. So now that now we all understand it and it based on the sound advice where we lawyers them, don't get to we. And don't tell you say the issue of unresolved membership issues no go beyond Letting the judge contemplate, as I explained to you, the NRM, 
the likes of uh, where we are. And uh, unless if anybody gets separate or different interpretation, but we rely on the advice given to us by our lawyers. Okay, thank you very much, um, Honorable Elijah Mikhail Masaya, because it could really clarify this particular topic here. Because we don't see any some lawyer that they say this, all the lawyer that they say that, all the lawyer they say, if they don't do this, it will be in contempt of court and so on and so forth. But like we say, I think the lawyer should be able to interpret what the judge say or what the judge mean, the context of the ruling and everything, so on and so forth, so that the APC party go able to work within the ambit of the law, they don't get any other challenging issues again going forward. And um, we'll come back to that particular topic, but I'll give that to Madam Fatima Conte. Madam Fatima Conte, as a human rights activist, we, we know say the opposition party them very important for maintain democracy in our country. What is the advice we go give to the main opposition APC party in terms of the key stakeholders them for many go come together, go able to work for the interest of the people and the interest of the country? You need to unmute yourself, madam. Thank you. First, on, you know, I want to say thank you to Uncle Minkalo and the rest of them, you know, for holding their peace and try, you know, for peace, for stability, uh, um, uh, the land that we love. You know, then don't try so hard. May God continue to bless you, um, you people. And um, the next step, you know, Uncle Minkalo, like I told you before, I bring the big six, then come, I talk to them, you know, unite in front and I, uh, you know, for, we need to work together. We need to, there's nothing else. We need to work together. Nothing, you know, we encourage everybody for come on board and we work together and yeah, hear them views. We have to listen to them and, um, and work with them because then like the song goes in the struggle of APC, there's a victory. A then that's, yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have victory, and we and I believe in that, and I stand firm onto that. You know, say we work together, we can bring everything. I know you know people keep on saying time, time, time that God gets time nine and but I know at all we are victorious in this, and I thank you, and I you know um, thank you from the bottom of my heart because you are one of the big and guns that I are and extend you know me thanks back to Anes I'll call plus you know please Uncle Mikalo and the big one back look when I walk together the grassroots they call me all the time and I want you know I'm revealing their message back the one to see this you know when they come here and, and this is why we have the platform so you guys can come and explain you know, so because you work for the people the main thing you work for the people the people want to hear you they want the feedback you know what is going on and you ask them what's going on with you so they want this so thank you very much you know and continue the good work and may god bless all of us you know united front Amen. god wants us and let us spread that love uncle Mincaro. let us keep on spreading the love and everything and we will see you know victory is ours in, in god's name okay thank, thank you, you very, very much, much. Thank you. okay <laughs> thank you very much madam fatima conte and um Again, going forward again, um, Honorable Elijah Minkailu Mansai, another clarification again. Then people are already, already elect for go, uh, uh, um, um, whatever, accept this constitution here, yeah, so then delegate here. Yeah. It's their own job now, when they don't go adopt that new, that new constitution, the, the job finish, or then get for be that, then get for be the delegates yeah, for the upcoming, all the election for happen for constituency executive, district executive, Regional, national, and the flag bearer, which they call that the same delegate or another for elect new delegates for that going forward. As I say, now we go ask the court for let them bury the first orders they will then give you, such that we will get this convention solely of uh, the sole purpose of. Draft constitution. The substantive matter is still in a court, and the injunction with them in Giri is still in a court. It's still there exists. They're not back it and yet. Technically, we know say, say the substantive matter is in a court. The judge ruled say uh, on the 6th of October 
the court will resume, was as at the four p meter through the lawyers. So the, the, this, this body will then go elect now in line with the court order. Mind you, the others say all the chairmen them, now the 132 constituencies, they're not eligible for be delegates. Then they say the district chairman them, the regional chairman them, NAC and other executive members them, they're not eligible. But the judge for that talks to for the purposes of this uh, order what they give, now five delegates from each constituency and then for elect the delegates then they, and the procedure for elect them, then tell me, and we have worked in accordance with the others. We don't go religiously, we don't collaborate with the, 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 the defendant. When our PPRC had a series of meetings, we draw program and make sure say, we go, we carry out that mandate when the court give it. After the, the, the adoption of the constitution, the, 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 or the sole purpose of carrying out the planning uh, 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 of this uh, uh, election for the delegates for this convention. When you come to lower levels and this, let me tell you, when we don't adopt the new constitution, now that constitution, the, now in the, be the ground norm of the party, now in the, be the, the, the legal document we will take with to whatever level. That is to say, we get to carry out the lower level conventions per constituencies or per one, per district, per region. Not to no other body again, but as provided for in the new constitution, now, in, now, now we go use as the instrument for take we to the next level. So anybody we don't do it now, I not believe so if we will continue. We will only continue if that new constitution make that provision day. But in the spirit of waiting, we understand from the ruling not to a permanent body. This arrangement are just for the sole purpose of adopting the draft constitution. Okay, thank and you. When we don't do that, the new constitution and they go with me. Whatever we want to do. Okay, thank you very much, Honorable Elijah Mikhail Mansare. And I believe say plenty, plenty of people in Tego appreciate. Yeah. We don't clarify plenty of the arguments. I know say the social media now salon advice with so many experts, then but we don't we take go thank you to all get somebody like you with vast knowledge, experience, and everything. And you get the sincerity and the confidence, and you know, I mean adjectives are not there for describe um the honorable Elijah Mikhail Mansare. Now I find gentleman, now I real patriot, a true patriot. I believe say, all people are going to get their own different opinion, but some people will know I'm not saying this man is a true patriot. We don't stand up for the interest of Sierra Leone over the years. And we're very grateful for getting on the platform today. Honorable Elijah Thank Mikhail you. Thank today. you. Thank you. And somebody saying on the platform say, if APC can have power, what we're going to do for make sure say, we're going to bring back the rule of law in our country, strengthen democracy, but moreover, we're going to deal with the dire economic situation in the country. Good. One thing I go tell the, 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 the texter or the person who asked the question at this. One of the outstanding facts in the history of the APC, now that we get an inexhaustible supply of manpower, of men and women, competent, capable, qualified, experienced for man the affairs of Sierra Leone. And when we get there, we will bring them all together and we chat the way. Because the work where well, they can get 2023, where we don't do state house and parliament, the enormous, believe you me, we know they underestimate them. And we are getting ourselves prepared. As I say, we will bring to bear from our fountain or from our pool or reservoir of the class of people we are on call. Then all we go come together, we put faculties together, we go re engineer with thinking. I mean, we will charge yourself with God given energies for let we do what the people they want and waiting to restitute the dignity and integrity of the party and Sierra Leone. And we will make sure, say, with the, 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 with the output where we don't know, particularly the younger folks that are coming up now in the party, the emergence of the youths that are coming up, where some of them don't put them to test, 
they have proven themselves well. They are not acquit themselves well. And more than they come up, believe you me, when we bring them together, we cut across. It will be an all-inclusive uh, uh, committee of people, committee of Sierra Leoneans, committee of Apicians. We will man the affairs of this country and we will address each and every sector where we believe, say, don't become troublesome, where we believe, say, don't go down, who believe, say, don't broken the, 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 the chain of good governance in this country, we don't undermine development, we don't destroy cohesiveness and unity in the country, we don't involve oneness and peaceful existence in the country. We don't affect the human rights of the ordinary people. In fact, we don't affect the, the human rights, not only of ordinary people, of well-placed people as well. We don't flout the rule of law. We don't get respect for our constitution. Then we, we, we will go into a reservoir. We get all them people, they are out there. Some of them are critics. You will see them say, APC, uh, uh, this or that or this. But well, believe you me, believe you me, I will not, by the wave of my hand, dismiss them. No, they are just being critical. But if you go into the heart of art, they are APC. And when they see the whistle blow gist up, we will all come together. We will all come together and see to it that we save we motherland, Sierra Leone. Oh, thank you very much, Honorable Alaji Minkailu Masai, on that excellent response. And again, I believe say you they reassure Sierra Leoneans in general, not only party, APC party members and supporters, but Sierra Leoneans, when they listen to you on this platform, they're very impressed with the way they articulate the issues there. And some people, they say they, they wish you for the talk frequently because you they articulate issues in such a way many, many people are feeling really reassured and confidence in a manner that um, Sierra Leoneans them, are very proud um, and this uh, and this particular um, analysis where they make. And again, I want to tell them, say, you're not the deputy chairman of the APC party, when are the main opposition party in Sierra Leone, where plenty, plenty Sierra Leoneans they look forward to. Because they remember, say, the previous administration under the APC party, they see plenty, plenty in a way, they were very much um, welcome and, and appreciate, including the, the large infrastructural development where take place in the country. Because remember, years, years back, that road from um, Mashingbing to Kono is becoming an albatross. It was so dangerous when they say in the season. But then, like, say, look, that road, they, the people they apply there, they go Kono and come in, in hours. And people in the talk, I'm up to today, they appreciate them greatly. Look, the road from Jue to, um, um, I call it from, um, to Wilbur Force. How many previous administrations we don't come, come and go, come and go? The neighbor will do with somebody. Previous administration did it. And now people apply up and down that road there. People are so grateful, and the comments on the platform are remarkable. But of course, no more. We don't all um, you know able for quite a long time now, and um, we know all I'm too long ago. They try for wrap up now this particular interview again on behalf of this particular platform. The Dell and our media empire who say the conversation continue. We want to the honorable thank you plenty, plenty. But before we do that, we want to give the honorable another um, four or five minutes for let's summarize. In terms of what they happen in our country, in terms of what would they expect, in terms of the APC party going forward, come the, the because 2021 they cancel, we will forget uh, local government elections them. Um, and 2023 they are just around the corner, general and presidential elections. How prepare this APC party and all so on and so forth. So honourable Minkai Luma say the last words you say. Well, I just summarize for Fambulem, who said the APC party, but who said the country they right now. So that people themselves so go understand because really you don't do a huge favor now for clarify the issue there. So and I believe say we all don't learn from it. Today. Plenty, plenty, one sir. Thank you very much. The, the difficulties or challenges we we get now the country, they're not intangible. Then they're, they're intangible. Everybody they feel them, you they taste them. When they sleep safe, you know they get better sleep. Now morning you get for think what you picking and go eat. Throughout the day, they don't sack people them by knock on effect. If you sack one person, now 20 people them at the chain will be affected. And when you sack about 200 or 500 people or 1 million people, the knock on effect, you can imagine the difficulties and the, 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 the problems we don't create. I want to reassure Una all and we all that the only solution to the salvation of Sierra Leone 
the only solution for restitute this country in dignity and integrity as one of the nation, a country in the League of Nations where people then go respect, where people then go say yes, a country this way they call Sierra Leone, that when we come together, let we unite we say, let we forgive, let we make room for inclusiveness. As I say, as human beings, to err is ours. We always can make mistakes, but where mistakes have been made, I will for look at the bigger picture, and the bigger picture that is suffering of the masses in the country, and the bigger picture that the degradation that inside the economy, and the bigger picture that the violation of human rights in the country, the bigger picture that the summary killings and deaths so people that they go through where nobody not care for. Ask them pass we where they ask them and they know they give you appropriate answers. The, the bigger picture in this country, now for provide the basic needs of the people of this country, where they deny them, the bigger picture of this country, now the, for let them, they, they govern by the rule of law, where they know they govern by the rule of law, the bigger picture, now when the justice system, you know they may dispense with justice, the bigger picture, now where we health system, they go down, the bigger picture, infrastructure where we left instead of them improve on now and we just make promises on papers and on television but they allow others to deteriorate the bigger picture that the unity and cohesiveness of this country and peace where this country be they enjoy we don't fragment where peace not there we are a divided country cohesiveness not there and the bigger picture than it. and we are as i say as a party we're poised we una know by una sweat and labor and with una commitment and determination, una go rally behind everybody in this country. For ensure we do the right things, we work together, we are united, we reconcile, we heal our wounds so that we will approach 2023 as a formidable party. We're ready to take the reins of government and surely by the special grace of God, we will do that. I just want to assure and say, we're a peaceful party. We we know they go for anything. We go affect the smooth and peaceful uh, uh, state of mind of anybody. That is the APC, and we are we are going through a difficult phase, but you know, insurmountable. And in the struggle of the APC, there is always victory for us. Okay, and on that fine notes, I want to tell you again, thank you, thank you, plenty, plenty for where you take time off your busy schedule today for join we na the platform. Family, I believe say, we'll go join me for tell the deputy chairman of the APC party, Honorable Alaji Minkalu Mansage, thank you plenty, plenty. We, we really appreciate the fact that he chose the platform for can talk to thousands and thousands of Sierra Leoneans eh, na the diaspora. And I believe say, the people eh, we don't reach today, they appreciate you greatly. Then they pray for we country, pray for una all the key stakeholders eh, we are going to work together. We are going to seek the interest of the country, Sierra Leone. And again, um, Madam Fatima Conte, I want, I want to give back to you for let you say give your own um, final word in relation to all what we don't discuss this evening. Whoa, I don't think I can go that far. But you know, um, yeah. First, I want to address you know the um, ruling government right now. Say, do good to the people, do good, to the grassroots, do good, you know, to the youth. Um, them when they did it, they don't get woke, then they pass all over before that, when I use them. And it's really painful because um, when I get on a young bikini, so when I can use them for, for do bad, but you take other man picking and God does not sleep, he does not slumber. And then he said, hold your peace and I will fight your battle. And I think that's all what they're waiting for. So I want to give you um, courage, the grassroots, and say, when I don't hold the peace and God will fight for on a battle. And when I go to the um, to the box, the um, voting box, and when I do on a best, do what you right. When I don't listen to money, or when I don't see money, and when I yai, all when I want is peace. One could get the teamwork and um, 
the people that were not kill on our, on our own loss, on our family, we're sorry. We ask for forgiveness. We ask, you know, for heal, make God bring peace, come to honor. And um, the picking away, the girl picking them. I have to talk to um, the girls. The girl picking them, make not enough flop on a yai, on a hold, you know, and work hard. Whatever, if you want to sell yeah. small um, stuff, go do your best and know that, you know, with God, you'll be successful. Don't make a man fool you and say, because there's a lot of that going on. Don't make a man fool you, say this and that. No. Say no, you want because at the end of the day, you know, it's you're not going anywhere. When you don't get two, three picking there, you're back there again. You know, you need to grow. So we need for grow and women empowerment. You know, I'm all here. You know, most of them get to be numbered and call me. So you can call, we can, you know, brainstorm together and see what we can do, you know, for Una. And um, to be um, um, at the APC. Like I said, you know, before it's a teamwork. I'm always here and I talk to you guys and I'm, I'm grateful for that, you know, for God and with the connection and uh, let's keep on doing it. It's a teamwork and let's, you know, ask um, the grassroots for forgiveness and go on. You know, people make mistakes and we have to struggle in life. There's no success without struggling. We all struggle. And we are going to ask God for his help and his direction and wisdom and understanding. And then we should walk together. Let us have that behind our mind that we have to walk together. Regardless, we have our differences in life. Yes, we walk together to promote ourselves, to promote you know, the grassroots because they are the one that is suffering. For me, I feel more pain you know, for them. Because other people are there, you know, enjoying their life and their kids, and but these people don't sleep. So all I'm saying, you know, to both ends, let us do good for God's sake and unite the place, you know, unite our people and have sympathy for them and empathy. And the hospitals and people that don't have anything, the people that have helped them, you know, let us spread our hands because we can't do it alone. And we know one man can't stand. You stand, somebody hold your back and somebody can hold your hand. So we fight together and we stand together and to build a nation. So thank you very much. And may God bless you, Superman. May God bless my uncle Minkalu and the rest of the people and the grassroots and protect us. Okay, thank, thank you very you. much. Madam Fatima Conte, on that prayerful note, where you end the statement, I believe say by God in power, God will protect and guide. We all we, we audience them, we salon family at large in the diaspora in Sierra Leone as well. And family, we don't come to the end of this fabulous program where we get the, the deputy chairman of the APC party today, we now honorable Alaji Minkailu Mansare, and we get to resident human rights activist, we now Madam Fatima Conte. But one thing I want to point to when I gave before, before I conclude, you know, the, the, the action by the central bank governor for just common said they can pull three zero them. This was not well, like where the, the, the honorable Alaji Minkalu say no more was not well planned. You know, contact the bodies there, many go well structured and things are not in place. Look at the ramification there today. The dollar will be there, they go up. In fact, now people cannot even get access to the, the, the foreign currency. Then. So with those they pay just the go down, more they go down. We hope say people are in governance. People in authorities go at least listen to the experts so people and will get vast knowledge and experience, but then seek advice because people are suffering in Sierra Leone. But like what we say no more, we believe say we Sierra Leoneans them we will continue this discussion, we will continue this conversation, and in the end, we Sierra Leone will be successful. So on that note, I want to know all thank you, plenty, plenty. And again, I want to say special thank you. So we guess them all get it in there. So the Honorable Alaji Minkailu Mansare and also to the resident human rights activist, Madam Fatima Conte. Family on Tata. God bless you all and God bless you, beloved country, Sierra Thank you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, Kailu. Good night. You're welcome. God bless you all. Thank God you, sir. Bless. God bless you. <laughs>